Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luke here, aka XLJH Productions, and welcome to part one of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas walkthrough. So, we are starting San Andreas from the very beginning. I'm not gonna cut the cutscenes, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it first um, before doing it all. But if you guys have played this game and never um, skipped the cutscenes or most of them, uh, then you should be fine, you shouldn't really need to watch this, but uh, for the future missions and whatnot, I won't be talking, but I just want to be talking a little bit about this and uh, what it is. So yeah, this is the uh, Xbox version of it. This is on Xbox 360, as I said uh, before, I bought it on uh, Xbox Live Marketplace. I was going to do it on the PlayStation 2, but I couldn't find the game. I had it recently as well, and I just, I don't know where I'll put it, but... Um, but yeah, right here, this is basically CJ re-meeting the cops uh, after what happened. So we're in 1992, as it said at the start. And, um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have some fun doing this. Uh, hopefully I am really love this game. It's my favourite Grand Theft Auto. I mean, I've played them all, you name it, you know, one, two, three, when it's... Uh, when it started 3D, Liberty City, Vice City, San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, whatever, all them lot, I've played them, really enjoyed them, uh, my favourite is this one right here, it's just a very, very good game, and uh, so this is my opinion right here guys, I mean I still look at today like, the comparison between San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 4 and I realised that some of the people's opinions I disagree with. Most of them are on the same lines as me but when I see one that's not the same um, I'm kind of like fair play but to me this is just my opinion right here and uh, I'm just going to express it. Basically um, San Andreas is my favourite and the reason why, and I know the graphics aren't that great but if you realise when it came out you can't expect them to be fantastic. Um, but the reason why it's my favourite is because of all the features. I mean, you've got flying planes, you've got the little things like BMX, and you've got um, everything in this game. I can't think of it right now because I haven't played this game in years, and I can't quite remember what it has. But it has a lot of things which is missing out in Grand Theft Auto 4 for me. I mean, there's a lot of things in Grand Theft Auto 4 which... Um, we did one, and uh, and they're there, but a lot of things weren't in there. But since it's on the original Xbox and PlayStation 2, online wasn't the biggest thing back then. But this game did have multiplayer, but it had the two-player multiplayer. So you needed another controller, and you had to stay with each other at all times. But if it had online gameplay, guys, you know it would be probably one of the best games known. I mean, I still class it as that now. Even without online, I still think it's such a fantastic game. Um, so yeah, I mean, if Grand Theft Auto 4 had all those features, um, I think that would be... I mean, we all know it would be amazing if Grand Theft Auto 4 did have them all. I mean, everybody was waiting for it. Everybody wanted it. Um, I remember me, when Grand Theft Auto 4 was out, I was... I didn't know much, I went away from it after San Andreas and uh, when I realised that 4 was out because I didn't have a Playstation 3 back then or an Xbox 360 and uh, so Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't that much of a, a thing to me back then but you know when I started playing it and I realised this is Grand Theft Auto right here and I realised that you know when I went to the airport trying to get in the uh, private planes none of it was working and I realised after that it doesn't have planes it has helicopters but not planes, it doesn't have um, much at San Andreas doesn't, uh, well, BMXs, I mean, because I enjoy BMXing, I do it a bit in real life. Now I'm not the best, but I do it, I quite like it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not one of the biggest things, you know, it's not one of those things that um, I hate the game because it doesn't have it. Um, but I just think if it had a lot of features that San Andreas has, I think it would just be ten times better than it already is. But, um, I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is heading that way, I think it's going to be San Andreas, all the features of that um, combined with Grand Theft Auto 4's graphics, maybe even a little bit more detail on them as well this time. Um, you know, we're never too sure, but um, but yeah, I mean right here I would mute it, um, but I just want to continue talking, I mean, this, is, this is only part one guys, I will 
mute it for future videos. But um, but yeah, what's been um, said or rumored is that Grand Theft Auto 5 will be a PlayStation. No, sorry, it will not be a PlayStation 4 and Xbox 720 game. It will, so you know that it's not going to be too long, and it will be for the 360 and PlayStation 3 and, well, obviously PC consoles. Um, but yeah, it's been confirmed today, the uh, the release of this video, well, a day before, um, so the 30th of August, as I looked on like, the gaming news, and basically the Xbox 720 and PlayStation 4 have been confirmed that they are in development. And uh, I think, well, this part is rumoured, this is not confirmed, that they will arrive in 2014. So, uh, yeah, and there's been some rumours on Grand Theft Auto 5 that that will come uh, before April 2013. But as they're only rumours, they're never, you're never too sure on just quite what. Um, what's the real case and when it will be coming out. But everybody's looking forward to it, I know I certainly am. I think it's going to be really, really good. And I think they've worked very hard on it since Grand Theft Auto 4. Um... So yeah, I'm pleased myself that uh, it's definitely coming out and it's not going to be stopping. I mean, it's not like Rockstar to do that anyway. Um, you know, Grand Theft Auto is probably their best series to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, Red Dead Redemption, I didn't play the original, but I played Red Dead Redemption. Uh, and that's a really good game actually. I, I did start a, a walkthrough on that on uh, my channel a while back with the Easy Cap, but I realised that it wasn't a good camera. Um, so I started deleting the videos and uh, just left it until I got the PVR right now. And I won't be doing a uh, walkthrough on Red Dead Redemption simply because the game's quite old now. And I don't think that anybody would be interested in it. Maybe some would, but I'd, I'm not really in the mind to do it at the minute. So, uh, so yeah. But right here, guys, I mean, basically what happened is they're, they're all retreating again. CJ, Ryder, Big Smoke. Don't know the other names. But, um... But, yeah, I mean... CJ is just meeting them all after being in jail. So, uh, that's Well, I think he was in jail before. Yeah. I might have got that wrong, guys. But I think he was, anyway. Uh, it's been uh, quite a bit tired there, but um, but yeah, no, I mean, Alain Noir is also a uh, good game from Rockstar. Um, right, there's a classic gun sounds as Andreas. Um, but yeah, Alain Noir. I mean, I would do something on that, but I don't like. Well, I do like it, the detective, you know, work, but um. I just wouldn't be able to do a walkthrough on it because I'd, I'd get confused with the cases and if you get them wrong you get it wrong and you have to redo it kind of thing and uh, you know I'm not really the best at those type things so I'm going to leave that um, but you know it's back on to San Andreas you see right there guys you go into a post and you're off and they keep doing it it's a bit unfair but um, I'm also not going to do one cheat in this game guys I'm going to do it all legitly I'm not going to do one cheat, I'm going to do the game properly. You see, I fall off again, and they end up getting a couple of shots, I think, on me. Um, so I end up doing it properly this time, making sure that I don't fall off. And, um, yeah, you can only cycle fast or sprint for a limited amount of time. Uh, but that's not really a problem, we don't need to, to do that anyway. So, um, yeah. So, a follow rider. They do these little turns, they always stop and do a big turn, and it's a bit weird, but get used to it. And now we just follow them. I slow down so they're in front, so I know definitely where I'm going. I can't quite remember myself. Um, cycling skill upgrade. Yeah, that's another thing with all the skills, it tells you what you got, and it come, pops up on screen when you're doing a certain thing. So that's quite good. Anyways, right here we go through the skate park. These don't go in the jump, but uh, I really enjoy skate parks on this game, so I go up them. Yeah, I know that's not a proper drop in, uh, jumping, um, but I wanted to do it because I, I like skate parks, like I said. So it'd be it's pretty good for me to uh, to do that. 
And there's a finalising uh, cutscene, I think. So if there is, then uh, I'll let that play as I've done my talking for this video. In future videos, cutscenes will be muted. And, um, yeah, so you can just see the game properly. Another car comes up, but you only, I've only got to go a bit further and uh, they're away. Uh, so right there, I just don't let that get to me. I just carry on going. And I look behind and realise that they're gone. So that's about it for this part. Anyways guys that has been part one of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you guys later.